growing up in a state like this is not your average childhood. Did you realise how different your background was or was it your version of normal? Children, to them everything is normal. It's only as people start to point things out and add a sense of perspective and that can be positive and negative. And growing up on the border during the Troubles was certainly interesting. And then you layer on the dyslexia and sometimes the lines got blurred as to you thought you were special and actually you just couldn't read. So yeah, it, complex I think is uh, the best way to describe it. I know we have something in common that we both went through the school system with undiagnosed dyslexia. And I know when I was diagnosed when I was 28, I was very angry that it wasn't picked up sooner. Did you feel the same? No, I felt I was 24 and I had a huge sense of relief that I wasn't stupid. And then they went, your IQ's in the top 2%. And I went, great, what am I supposed to do with that? I have no way, you know, I don't know how my brain works. And I became fascinated in understanding how we learn. And my background with horses was all teaching and riders and schooling horses. So I, I am fascinated by how we learn and how we think. I know you face other challenges in your life, such as breast cancer. And I'm sure going through the treatment was quite difficult. On those dark days, where did you get the strength from? I'd, I'd done an amazing thing called the Hoffman Process a couple of years before. And that really, it's eight days and you really get stuck into those dark places that you take yourself and why you do that and those patterns of behaviour that don't really help you and that really helped me understand that actually my breast cancer just was one of those large piles of stuff that lands on our plates every now and again. There was nothing really I could have done any differently and it's just something you get through and modern medicine is incredible and everybody says it but the nurses are magical. They just make it so easy just to go through. You've been through an awful lot. What's life like for you today? I have to say I love middle age. <laughs> you just have let go of so much of the things we thought were important. We're so hung up on body image when we're younger. Actually, I'm just delighted that I've got all my, you know, I've got all my bits. Um, you become a lot kinder because you realise that absolutely everybody is going through something. Even people who look like they have the most perfect lives, they've all got stuff going on behind the scenes. And if they haven't, it will, you know, it's about to have happened or happened in the past. It's, yeah, we just enjoy life and live it. It's, that's all we can do. You clearly have a big passion for horses. What is it about them that you love so much? I mean, they're the most incredible creature. There's, there's half a ton of this incredible athlete. They're very intelligent and very kind. And when you get that relationship right, it really is pure bliss. Would you say this is where you're at your happiest? Yeah, when you get it right, it, it is incredible. You, two of you are just in sync and it is, it's, it's blissful, it really is. <laughs>